Mark was uh, a true leader. He was someone who was able to bring respect and trust into the organization. I've been on the board for um, the entire time that the Evergreen Chapter has been around. I started uh, in the advocacy area and public policy, and now I've been the president of the board for about a half a dozen years now. I met Mark in 2000. I joined the board and he was the advocacy chair at the time. First thing he said to me after I walked in was, oh good, a lawyer, you can take over my job. But it was always um, a given with Mark that people had the right to say whatever they wanted to. Um, we became a family as an organization and disagreement and dissension was actually encouraged so that we could become a stronger board. Mark was the kind of person who was completely loyal. He would give you the shirt off of his back. He was always looking to see how he could help other people. Anyone who wasn't served in a different way, Mark wanted to make sure that we reached out and served those people. So his loyalty, his leadership, his ability to reach out to people and engage them and get things done, that is his greatest legacy to ALS. Well, I got involved with ALS because my best friend, Bob Nadir, died of ALS. Um, at the time that he was diagnosed with the disease, we were um, business partners remodeling houses together. We're both actors. We worked in the theater and uh, on camera together a lot. I had the pleasure of meeting his best friend, Bob Nadir, before he passed away. And I could see the love between them, how even when Bob was unable to communicate really and, and unable to participate and certainly unable to act. Mark was by his side every step of the way until he passed away. So that's how I got involved because my best friend had the disease, he died of the disease. Um, and to this day, I think what keeps me going uh, is the memory of my friend Bob, my love for Bob and uh, uh, the, the tremendous experience it is to be a part of this organization and to help in whatever small way I might be able to. What has ALS taught me about life and people? It's, it's almost, it's incredibly profound um, what it has, has taught me, where it's taken me, the people that I've met. It is the extraordinary grace of an individual human being to face boldly and courageously the diagnosis that our patients receive and to say, and I have heard this so many times, this disease is a blessing. From where in a person does that come from? And many people find a source of strength, a source of clarity, a vision, and unbelievably, they find a new purpose in their life in the middle of this disease. And it's incredible. And if I can apply any of that to my life as an individual, as a father, as a husband, as a member of the ALS community, then I think all of us will move down the road to find a cause and a cure for this disease. As an organization across the country, but the Evergreen Chapter specifically, really blessed with really gifted people 